This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games. Lesson 11, Conditionals, Part 5, Boolean Expressions. Very important in code. The simplest Boolean expression are questions that the computer can answer with true or false. These expressions are made using comparison operators as shown below. Right, what we just read about through this lesson. So here are some of our operators. So less than, greater than, or equals to in code because a single equals creates a variable. So to compare two items, you use two equals sign. Note, if you saw this statement, three is less than two in math class, you'd think something was terribly wrong. But this is not math class. Nope, it's a video. <laughs> Um, in computer science, the comparison operators ask a question that the computer will answer with true or false. So you can read three is less than is is less than two as is three less than two. Oh, well that's yeah. Oh, is is what okay. Yes. The answer in this case is no or false or or zero, because also zero and one are true and false right? It's binary. That's where Booleans come from. Another way to say this is that the Boolean expression 3 less than 2 evaluates to false. Do this. Can you modify the values of the sprite properties so that each of the Boolean expressions evaluates to true? Maybe. Read through the entire program to see how sprite 1 and sprite 2 are being created and which property are compared. For each of the Boolean expressions, when you see Boolean expression, you just have to think true, false. It, it, it's a weird word. You'll get to, used to it. Boolean means true or false. For each of the Boolean expressions, identify the sprite properties being compared. Change the code in the first 11 lines only. Okay, so that's going to be important. So that each of the council.log statements print true. All right, I'm going to close this for now. So let's go through the code first because otherwise I'll mess something up. And let's be honest, I might mess something up even after. So these are comments. Comments, these slash slash, that means only for programmers. A program, the computer, when it runs this, it skips over it. Because this is for people to leave notes to each other or to kind of know what a program does. So we should definitely read these. Modify these sprites so that all of the council.log commands print true. Variable sprite1 equals create sprite, okay, and the location of it is 100, 200. Sprite 1, set animation, apple. Sprite 1, dot rotation, 30. Sprite 1, scale, 1.5. Okay, so we're making a sprite at 100, 200. We are setting it to our animation. That's an apple. We rotate it, 30. Okay, and then we scale it to 1.5, which is 150%. Sprite 2, we're going to create at 300, 200. It is going to be a carrot. We're going to rotate it 60, and then we're going to scale it to about half size. I'm going to shrink that. Don't edit the following. I'm serious. <laughs> They're serious. All right, but we need to know what it's doing. Council.log comparison 1. Uh, this is going to be printed, and then plus, and the result of this. Okay, so sprite2.x is uh, equal, right? 2 equals sign equal to sprite2.y. All right, so if we can read this, and hopefully you did with me, sprite2.x, which is the property x in sprite2, is equal, two equal signs, one makes a variable, two is to compare. So it's asking, and remember, this is asking a question. So what it's saying is, hey, is sprite2's x property equal to sprite2's y property? All right, well, here's sprite2's x property, and if you forget which comes first, if I go way over here and go to drawing, um, or create a sprite, it's right here, x then y, okay? So, x is 300, y is 200. So this statement, sprite2.x is equal to sprite2.y is false, right? 300 is not equal to 200. Read through the code in the entire program, and that's being created. Can you modify the values properties so that each Boolean expression evaluates to true? All right, so we need this to be true. 
So, sprite2.x, sprite2.y. No, that's not going to work. So, we could move the location. That would do it. We could also do uh, switch up the code. Oh, but we're not supposed to switch down here. So, that means we need sprite2y equal to sprite2x. All right, so I, since this has a 200, I'm going to move this to 300. So now that one will be true. All right, next statement. Comparison to sprite 2 dot rotation is less than 40. So how I need to read that is sprite 2's rotation is sprite 2's rotation less than 40. Less than 40. Hmm. That's kind of weird because it is 60. So is 60 less than 40. No, it's not less than 40. So this is going to evaluate to false right now. So how can I make it true? Well, I need to make this because we can't edit past 11. I need to change up this. I'm going to say 20 now. 20 is less than 40. So now when it says sprite 2, it's going to go up here and say dot rotation. Okay. Sprite 2's rotation. Ooh, that's 20. Is 20 less than 40? Yep. And so then it comes out true, it, the computer will say. Three, sprite one dot scale is equal to sprite two dot scale. I know that one's false, right? So is sprite one scale 1.5 equal to 0.5? Definitely not. So let's change these up. Um, I don't know. We'll make this both 1.5. Hopefully that doesn't make them too big. Now the computer will say, all right, sprite one scale, sprite one scale is 1.5. Two equals. Okay, so I'm comparing. Is that equal to? Yes, it is. True. Sprite one dot X is greater than 150. Let's go up here. Sprite one x is greater than 150. No, it not So let's change this up to I don't know 160. That's bigger than 150. All right. Comparison five. Sprite two dot y is less than 200. Sprite two dot y 200. Definitely not. So this does need to be less than 200. Well, shoot. They're trying to trick us here, and I can already see it. All right. I'm gonna make it 100. But look. We need these to equal. So this would trip us up if we're not paying attention. Because now sprite x and sprite y aren't equal. So I need to change this up now to 100. And maybe, maybe we have it. I'm going to hit run and see. And here's our counsel. True, 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 true. The instructions. Identify being compared. Uh, the Boolean expressions evaluate to true. Yes, we have done this. All of them are now evaluating to true. And we didn't change anything below line 11 or line 12. It was all up here. So there we are. Boolean's are complicated. You'll get the hang of them, but let's keep going for now.